Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team to search for the people featured on our channel. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline can be reached by dialing 988 or 1-800-273-8255. Calls are free and confidential. Every year, over 600,000 individuals go missing in the United States, according to the National Missing and Unidentified Person System. While many are quickly found and returned to their families, others remain missing as years pass by. This is Jason's story. Jason Carl Hoffman, then 45, is missing from Bensalem, Pennsylvania. Jason was due to visit a friend in Delaware on January 13th, 2018, but he never arrived. He was driving his two-door uh, racing green and black 2006 Mini Cooper with Pennsylvania license plates KDX4948. His last date of contact was Saturday, July 13th, I'm sorry, Saturday, January 13th, 2018. The Bensalem Police Department is investigating. They can be reached at 215-633-3700. Jason's case number is 1801533. He was born in January 1973. Uh, so I pulled up some information for both the Pennsylvania area and then for Delaware. The high in Bensalem that day was 62 degrees and the low was 17. There was approximately one and a quarter inch of rain early in the morning. I don't think it would have affected his travel plans, but we don't know what time he left. Um, the sunrise was at 720 and the sunset was at 456. It's possible if he left first thing in the morning, the morning sunrise could have blocked his vision and distracted him. Um, the Delaware high was 57 degrees and the low was 20. They received one and one inch of rain. The sunrise was at 7.23 and the sunset was 5 p.m. If he was going to like a northern town in Delaware, the uh, route would be approximately 40 miles, take him about 45 minutes. If he was going to go to the far southeast corner of Delaware in Fenwick, that is approximately 156 miles or a two and a half hour drive. There was talk that he possibly was looking into getting a rental car. I'm thinking if he was going to look into getting a rental car, he probably drove closer to the southern edge of Delaware versus the northern edge. I do have some questions. If any of his family or friends see this and can maybe shed some light, it might help us narrow down our search area. Uh, what was his destination address in Delaware or at least the town? And what time were they expecting him to arrive? His likely route what time he was supposed to leave around uh, Bensalem. And then was he running any errands or picking up anything to bring with to Delaware? He might be in a retention pond somewhere by a, a big box store, let's say. And then what were the his last cell phone ping coordinates? If we can get that, we can narrow the search area down to about three miles or so. Uh, his work and exact home address, any places that he frequented. Uh, did he put any time off requests in at work or his resignation, perhaps? Does he volunteer anywhere, attend church? What types of hobbies does he have? Does he get together with any social groups periodically? Does he prefer to go out or stay home? Is he an early bird or a night owl? Did he give any possessions away in the month or two before he disappeared? Does he prefer driving on main roads or back roads? Does he drive at night? Um, let's see here. Did the police look into the license plate readers? Was it picked up anywhere? 
Did he put any calls into AAA, his mechanic, or a car insurance provider a day or two before he went missing? Were there any items that he always carried with him? A uh, water bottle, pocket knife, uh, multi-tool, anything like that? Any jewelry, a ring, or a necklace we could look for? Was he conditioned to driving long distances if he was going to go to southern Delaware? Does he have any chronic issues, a health issues such as being diabetic, seizures, brain injury? Uh, when was the last time his vision was checked? Were his glasses going bad for him, maybe? Say so a uh, greater than normal eye strain that might have affected his driving. And then what was the place of his last verified financial transaction? The date and time might help us, but at least if we could know where that was at. Uh, verified being that he used a check, a credit, or a debit card. Uh, the places I'm going to share next are shared with my blessing. So Jason can be reunited with family, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any case. Know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and searched for or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth that you're watching has a measurement from our current best starting location, which is just the hometown Benselum, and then it goes out to possible search areas. We focus on bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So I've got, I tried to stay in the Pennsylvania area for this video. If we can find out where he was going in Delaware, I can do a new video in regards to that. And then if we know if he was going to any big box stores, or specialty stores to get anything for Delaware for the Delaware trip, then we can look into those areas as well. But for right now, we've got the Pocassing Creek, Pennypack Creek, the Delaware River, uh, Nishimi Creek, Springfield Lake, and then I don't think this one is likely, but there to the north, if you went the opposite direction, there's Magnolia Lake and a few other ones up there, the Shulkill River. And then there's the East Park Reservoir and the Queen Lake Reservoir. If you'd like to help Jason's family find him, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. I'll let the video play out here just a couple of minutes so you can see the entire search area if you're interested. If you see something I missed, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and remember that we love you.